Notch. In the last year or so, we've heard that word a lot. It's been the clarion call of smartphone manufacturers ever since Apple decided it was with the iPhone 10. Since then, there have been many questions about notches. Are they small enough? Is there a notch? What kind of notch? Water drop? There was outrage, there was denial, there was acceptance, and then there was innovation. When Apple put into motion the trend for slim bezels with the iPhone 10, the race to make a smartphone with the least amount of bezel was on. Screen-to-body ratios were on the rise and the Chinese seemed to be the first to find the best solution. Vivo came up with the Apex concept that hailed the highest screen-to-body ratio on a smartphone. With a trick to do away with the notch so neat that some companies are still scrambling to replicate it a year later. The trick? A front-facing selfie camera that rose up from the top of the phone. Soon after Vivo released the commercial version of the prototype smartphone, the Vivo Nex. But with the Android market saturating fast, the sub-35,000 rupee category needed a bezel-less contender. And so for the third time, Vivo obliged. With this, the Vivo V15 Pro. The V15 Pro gets all the bells and whistles you'd expect from an Android flagship at its price point of 28,990 rupees. It's got 6GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage and runs on an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 AIE processor. There's a fingerprint scanner underneath its Super AMOLED display that without a notch in sight offers a 91.64% screen to body ratio. Flip over the phone and you'll notice a triple camera setup with a 48 million quad pixel sensor, an 8 megapixel super wide angle sensor and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. But the V15 Pro's party piece is its selfie camera. It rises from the top of the phone with a sound effect so dramatic you'll be sure you've accidentally time traveled into the future. With a 32 megapixel sensor, bad selfies are hard to achieve. The one thing that'll never come up when you're using the V15 Pro is the need for a power bank, since it packs a 3700 mAh battery that supports quick charging. So until the tech gods find another solution to a problem they themselves have probably created, the Vivo V15 Pro should suffice. For everything from watching videos to taking pictures and even looking like a stunning mantelpiece.